Hey, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on this Monday afternoon. What a busy Monday already. Take a look at your risk for storms today. Yes, we are tracking storms across Minnesota, Montana, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Now this is your hail risk, but I actually want to back up just a little bit here and I want to get to your overall weather headlines today. So let's go back a little bit. What are we expecting for storms today? Well, you just saw that hail risk. We're also going to have a tornado risk and a high wind risk across the board. It's a level four out of five for storms today. It's that rare moderate risk today. Usually in July, we'll get maybe one, maybe two moderate risks. This is the first one so far this month. And today, a derecho is likely very, very common, especially in the middle of the summer. A derecho is a line of storms that produce extreme wind over a wide area. So it's extreme wind for a long period of time for many, many people, often leaving people with fallen trees, fallen power lines, often leaving people with power outages across a very large, widespread area. So we'll talk about who is in the most likely place for a derecho today. Extreme heat is also expected for millions, not only today, but also tomorrow. Just wait until you see those heat alerts today. I probably don't have to tell you it's hot. You can walk outside and figure that one out for yourself. Let's take a look at your 24 hour storm reports here. We did see some hail in the northern portion of Minnesota yesterday. But one of the most impressive things that I think we saw yesterday was right through Minneapolis, where yes, we did have a tornado warning just on the west side of the city. And then we had several reports of golf ball size hail in the city itself. I think this was overall rated a two star hail storm yesterday. So just below that three star threshold. After that, we saw some really strong winds in the southern portion of the state and northern Iowa. Now that will be likely again today with that hail risk once again ongoing today and that tornado risk on top of it as well. Now early this morning, we saw storms across the southern side of North Dakota. These also producing some strong wind here just along I-94. And now we do, this is now your current radar. Now we do have a severe thunderstorm watch ongoing right now. And let me actually get you some information on this severe thunderstorm watch. All righty, severe thunderstorm watch goes until four o'clock this afternoon. And of course, we will probably see that extended across South Dakota, Minnesota, and all the way into Northern Iowa as well, as we do have that level four out of five risk for storms today highlighted there in red. That enhanced risk highlighted in orange and that significant, that slight risk highlighted there in yellow. So we've got a lot of people under the, the risk for storms today. We're gonna see that again tomorrow and then again on Wednesday. But I really wanna just focus on today. Let's get to Monday and then we'll get to the rest of the work week. You can see that we've got a front stalled across the Northern Plains right now. There's those storms that are going through Southern North Dakota right now. Let's go through the rest of our U.S. Uh, pretty dry across the northeast. We've got a few showers across the southeast. And then really your main activity is up in North Dakota right now. It's hot. I don't need to tell you that. I'm going to skip right over the temperatures today because you know that it's hot out there. 80s, 90s, triple digits is what we're going to see today. At times, especially in these areas highlighted here in pink, it could feel like 115 degrees. Yeah, you heard that right. It could feel like 115, 115 degrees. Holy moly, that's hot. Now, other than the heat, we are also watching for storms today, right? Here's a look at your significant hail model. We actually have two areas that we could see large hail today. One near Montana, the other just along the state line from Iowa to South Dakota, Nebraska, and Minnesota. And we showed that hail risk at the very beginning of the show, but I'll show it to you again here in just a few minutes. I wanna show you the uh, significant hail model for today. It does look like we could get some larger than golf ball size hail in several different cities. So what are we talking about here? Who has the uh, largest hailstones up to golf ball, hen egg size hail, you know, that 1.75, two inch size hailstones. I think that we can see that right here, as I mentioned earlier, really right along the state line from South Dakota to Minnesota, maybe even stretching down to the far southern side of the state. Let's put your risks on here and let's get you some city names as well. We've got Sioux. Yellow for storms today. Rather highlighted in green, so it's a low risk in Minneapolis. It's a low risk for you as well. However, we did see storms in Minneapolis yesterday, and we like to say the trend is your friend. 
One model wants to pull storms directly into Minnesota. Another model wants to take storms closer to what we have here, right down through South Dakota and into northern Nebraska. So we'll see which model actually wins, which model is correct here. Then we've got another round of storms that will come a little bit later on tonight, and that will be out in Montana. Let's go to your tornado risk today because we do have a level two tornado risk highlighted there in yellow. That's for Sioux Falls, Aberdeen, and Minneapolis included in that level one risk for tornadoes today. Now the tricky thing about the tornado risk today is that most of our tornadoes will be embedded in a long line of storms. So they'll be difficult to see, very, very tricky to spot, especially if it comes later on in the evening, like some of these southern storms. That's whenever it will be very, very difficult to spot those tornadoes. You need several rounds or several ways to get your weather alerts because of that tricky and sneaky nature of those tornadoes tonight. Now, I think one of the number one things that you are going to hear about the weather today is that strong wind speed. So we're going to take a minute and talk about those uh, potentially extreme winds today. Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, look off there. Okay. Extreme winds today. Let's talk about that. Some of the headlines that I've seen across the news and across the media outlets over the last few days have been hurricane force wind speeds. Yes, that's absolutely possible today. What are we talking about? How strong are those wind speeds? 80 to 90 to potentially 100 miles an hour. And the area that we're watching for that the most will be between Aberdeen, Sioux Falls, Minneapolis, and Des Moines. This is where we could see the strongest wind speeds. Now, do you guys know the word derecho? Have you heard that before? Basically what that means is a long line of storms that produce strong wind speeds for a long period of time over a very wide area. So let's actually go and talk about wind speeds here. Come on. Here we go. We're getting to it. So for this area in particular, this area highlighted in red, that's your moderate risk right here. For this area in particular, the biggest risk is going to be high winds today, 80 to 100 miles an hour. That flooding risk is pretty low. You could get some large hail and a few tornadoes will be embedded in this area. Now there's strong wind speeds. If you get up to 60, 70, 80 miles an hour, that is strong enough not only to blow your trash can across the street, and you know, that trash can's gone, you may not see it again, but it could also, if you're caught in this storm, also potentially impact you. you. All you need is 67 mile per hour wind speeds to blow you over. You don't want to be out in that. But whenever we get wind speeds as strong as 80, 90, 100 miles an hour, that could also blow things like your car over. So if you can, pull all of those items into your garage, pull it closer to the house, tie that trampoline down. You don't want that trampoline flying across the street. Actually, we've got a pretty famous meteorologist that likes to call the trampoline the state birds in times like this. And you don't want that to happen. That's very dangerous to you and your neighbors. We've got Jody on here asking about the forecast for Minnesota on Monday. Great timing, Jody. We are getting right down into Minnesota here. So here's what you're going to see tonight. You're going to start to see a few isolated storms across North and South Dakota. So for all of you in Minnesota, you'll be able to see these storms coming. They'll start off to the west and they'll track into the state as we head into the late to overnight hours. Let's zoom down and let's get an hour by hour look at this. This model is handling things pretty well right now. We've got a few storms across the northern side of North Dakota right now. And what you'll see is you'll see these storms intensify as they continue to track to the south and east as we head into the afternoon hours. Here we are about four or five o'clock this afternoon. We've got a few isolated storms out there, but again, these will congeal into a line of storms. Now this model wants to pull storms into Minnesota, especially on the southern half of Minnesota. We have another model that wants to bring storms south of I-90 here and into northern Nebraska. We'll have to see which model actually wins, but this is what the Storm Prediction Center is talking about here whenever they say there could be one to several areas, so potentially two areas of strong winds today. So we've got one up to the north into Minnesota. We've got another one farther down to the south into South Dakota. What we'll see here is some strong wind speeds. As I just mentioned, we could see 80 to 90 mile per hour wind speeds. Actually, any time that we see this signature on our reflectivity, do you see this kind of bowing out a little bit where it creates kind of like a backwards C-shaped kind of like that? Do you see that signature right there? That's what, how we know that we'll see some strong winds tonight. 
So we'll see some strong winds all over this area, a few tornadoes embedded in this line of storms as well. Don't forget, this is a level four on a scale of five for storms today. So we're gonna watch this timeline just one more time for anyone who missed it. We zoomed out a little bit to include Iowa in this as well, and we went a little bit farther into Nebraska here. So once again, viewing your timeline today, most of these storms will come through the afternoon hours, but a few will linger into the overnight hours. So places like Minnesota, especially the farther south you live in Minnesota, those storms could linger into the overnight hours. Now, one more area that we could see some strong storms today, you could see some hail out in Montana and maybe even some stronger wind speeds as well. In this area in Montana today, we are likely to see these storms into the overnight hours tonight, maybe starting right around dinner time, but then continuing into the early morning hours. So there's your storms today. Let's talk about storms tomorrow. So a level four risk for storms today. We've got a level two as you go farther down to the south tomorrow. So let's take you down to, I think we're going to places like Kansas. There you go. Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, Denver included in that risk for tomorrow as well. By Wednesday, we go out to the east into places like Kansas City and St. Louis. Let's see, do we have any other questions that we haven't answered? Yeah, no other questions. All righty. In that case, let's talk about temperatures. I think that you guys are going to like these temperature graphics. Do you remember last week whenever I said we have no relief in sight? Temperatures are going to stay hot for a very long time. Well, thankfully, we have some cooler air moving in here. Yes, those 100 triple degree temperatures are not sticking around for too much longer. We finally get a summer break. Yes, temperatures are cooling down as we head into the later portion of this week and into early next week. Now, we're not talking about cool. No, no, no. Don't pull out your cardigans. It just means that we're out of those triple digits. Finally, the overnight hours give your AC a little bit of break, which is great news. Let's talk long term. Let's go all the way into the middle of that first week of August right here. What are we talking about? Cooler temperatures, not only for the plains, but also also off to the east coast. We are also watching for some cooler temperatures out to the west, which is great news. We need that rain across the west, okay? I would like to see some green move into these areas that are highlighted in brown right now. It just means that we're gonna stay pretty dry out there and that fire danger is going to continue. We also have a good chance to see storms continue into the middle of August through the plains and southeast. There you go, there's your forecast today. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you hopping on and watching your forecast today. Now we will of course be tracking these storms tonight on all of our social media platforms. So we'll give you updates on here. Make sure you give us a follow on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok. Also give us a call if you're interested in a wind, hail or tornado map. Even if we don't see any hail today, which I think we will. But even if we don't, we'll still be mapping those tornadoes and high wind speeds across the Northern Plains. Give us a call at 855-334-4245 or email us at info at hailtrace.com. Head over to our website, hailtrace.com for more information. Also post your weather questions in the Facebook and YouTube page. I'm pretty good within the next hour about hopping on and responding to any of those questions that I may have missed during this forecast. All right, thanks for joining us today. I'm meteorologist Taylor Cox and we'll see you back here same time, same